Hello and welcome. This time we're talking about synchronous counters. Okay? Synchronous counters look a little bit more difficult than asynchronous counters. However, we will see they act better in if we are higher frequencies. I'll show you how synchronous counters are built. Again, we have four flip-flops. And again, we are reacting on the edge. This is JK flip-flops. And now we have a clock input and this clock input, this clock input, this is going directly to the, to the flip-flops. Use an inverted falling edge, just to have it. And this is going synchronous to all flip-flops. Okay. Here this shall be again the output. So this is Q0, this is Q1, this is Q2, this is Q3, as before. Yeah. But now, since I cannot use this output to toggle, yeah, I need to have some external logic which helps me decide if one should toggle or not. Yeah. Here I will draw an OR. This has a meaning, we will see this afterwards. Yeah. The first one shall toggle every time. Yeah? The least significant bit in a binary uh, number is toggling every time. So these two we will just set to one. Okay. The second one shall toggle every time this is one. Yeah? Then the other one shall toggle because this means I'm done with the previous ones, yeah? Like we've discussed, like we've discussed in, in uh, numbering systems. Yeah? The next one shall toggle if this and this are one, yeah? So I need an end here. And if this and this both are one, this means I have all possible combinations before. I'm using the next. Huh? So I'm setting J and K to one, and this will toggle with the next one. This one shall toggle if this and this and this are one. Okay. So again, I have an end. And I want to have one this and this and this. So I'm setting J and K to one huh? and so on and so on. So here there is not the logic inside the chain of, of flip-flops. The logic is built outside and it's following the rules for uh, numbering systems, okay. What, when do I need the next, the next uh, digit? Okay. Why well, haven't drawn these these ends here? Are these ors? There must also be an or. Because 
I need also to have a reset line. This reset line shall bring all flip-flops to zero. This I could use like this. Yeah? I need some cycles here, but they will be zero after a while. So, this is talking every time. This is only talking if this is switching from 1 to 0. This is only talking if those two are switching from 1, 1 to 0, 0. And this is only talking if this is switching from 1, 1, 1 to 0, 0, 0. Behaves like a counter. Yeah? With the benefit that the C input, the clock input, is now switching all flip-flops at the same time, synchronous. This is why this is called synchronous counter. And they might be a little switch a little bit after the C input, but at least almost at the same time. And here I have a valid number. Okay? Because they all switch at the same time, I have every time a valid number. Maybe it's a little bit delayed compared to the C input, but at least I can read something. Yeah? Synchronous counter. Of course, if I change this logic here and so on, it can be up counter, down counter, there can be uh, uh, BCD counters up and down. It's working everything. Yeah? Just need to adapt here a little bit this logic. Yeah. Yeah. Synchronous counter. That's it for counters. Next time we are talking about comparing two numbers to each other. Yeah. To, to issue a signal when we have reached a certain certain count value. Yeah. We want to fill in a box of balls. Yeah. And after 20, doot, next box. Counter with output. Will be next time. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.